Hi Max, it was good to jam with you the other day. You sound really good and I think you have an innate talent for the guitar. You are picking up things fast and you have a good ear. I hope you stick with the guitar because it can be a fun instrument and it allows you to do a lot of things like writing, singing, playing leads, playing bass, and getting girls. I wanted to run over a couple of things we worked on the other day so you have a record of it and can play along with it. First, we did an A pentatonic scale, or blues scale. This is a good basic scale that has five notes in it. This scale is the basis for many great leads you can do. The notes are A, C, D, E, and G. We start out on the A by putting our third finger on the seventh fret of the D string. Then go to the C with your first finger on the fifth fret of the G string. Then go to the D with your third finger on the seventh fret of the G string. Then go to the E with your first finger on the fifth fret of the B string. Then come back down D, C, A, and go to the G with your first finger on the fifth fret of the D string. Now let's go it around and around with this a few times. Play along. Good. Now let's add another note, a high G. This involves a new finger, the pinky. You would play the G by putting your pinky on the 8th fret of the B string. So let's try playing the scale with the high G in it. Play along. Good. Note that we're trying to keep all our fingers aligned to one fret. When you do this, it's called playing in a position. Because our first finger is on the fifth fret, we are playing in the fifth position. When you get in the habit of keeping your fingers in a position, you attain an economy of movement and can play faster. Sometimes it may feel like you'd be easier to play your note with your third finger because it is stronger than your fourth finger. But if you get used to playing with your pinky, it will get stronger and you won't be moving your whole hand around to get to a note. I just want to show you a little bit of what I might do with this scale that we have we've just been learning. So just to give you an idea of what you can play along with, and you, know, you don't have to play along with this, but you might be able to now, come up with some ideas and see what you play with. that was always just five notes. So you can have a lot of fun with that. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll go on to the A and E.